Last year at TED, we uh, aimed to try to clarify the overwhelming complexity and richness that we experience at the conference in a project called the Big Viz. And the Big Viz is a collection of 650 sketches that were made by two visual artists. David Sibbett from The Grove and Kevin Richards from Autodesk made 650 sketches that strive to capture the essence of each presenter's ideas. And the consensus was, it really worked. These sketches brought to life the key ideas, the portraits, the magic moments that we all experienced last year. And this year we were thinking, why does it work? What is it about animation, graphics, illustrations that create meaning? And this is an important question to ask and answer because the more we understand how the brain creates meaning, the better we can communicate, and I also think the better we can think and collaborate together. So this year we're going to visualize how the brain visualizes. Cognitive psychologists now tell us that the brain doesn't actually see the world as it is, but instead creates a series of mental models through a collection of aha moments or moments of discovery through various processing. The uh, processing, of course, begins with the eyes, light enters, hits the back of the retina, and is circulated, most of which is streamed to the very back of the brain at the primary visual cortex. And primary visual cortex sees just simple geometry, just the simplest of shapes, but it also acts like a kind of relay station that re-radiates and redirects information to many other parts of the brain, as many as 30 other parts that selectively make more sense, create more meaning through the kind of aha experiences. We're only going to talk about three of them. So the first one is called the ventral stream. It's on this side of the brain, and this is the part of the brain that will uh, recognize what something is. It's the what detector. Look at a hand, look at a, a, a remote control, chair, book. So that's the part of the brain that is activated when you uh, give a word to something. A second part of the brain is called the dorsal stream, and what it does is locates the object in physical body space. So if you look around the stage here, you'll create a kind of mental map of the stage, and if you closed your eyes, you'd be able to mentally navigate it. You'd be activating the dorsal stream if you did that. The third part that I'd like to talk about is the limbic system. And this is deep inside of the brain. It's very old evolutionarily. And it's the part that feels. It's the kind of the, the gut center where you see an image and you go, oh, I have a, a strong or um, emotional reaction to whatever I'm seeing. So the, the combination of these processing centers help us make meaning in very different ways. So what can we learn about this? How can we apply this insight? Well, again, the schematic view is that the eye visually interrogates what we look at. The brain processes this in parallel, the figments of information asking a whole bunch of questions to create a, a unified mental model. So, for example, when